guys real quick. I just wanted to show you around my new 2007 Toyota V8 4Runner. And I'm really excited to show you, so check it out. Yes, sir. 2007 V8 Toyota 4Runner. Great condition. I bought it out of the great state of Texas and drove it all the way back. A little rust on the tow hitch there, but the car was used for towing a bit and that's something you would expect out of a V8 vehicle. What's nice is the Toyota TRD wheels are on it, as well as the BF Goodrich KO2s, and it just complements the car so nicely. Let me just zoom out real quick. Yes, sir. Because it came out of Texas, luckily the frame has minimal rust. One of the nice things about going to some of the southern states, on the east coast you have to worry a bit more about rust. And I just decided to put on this wind deflector, or this bug deflector. I think it kind of disperses the chrome a little bit and allows me some space to put on a bit of decal and have a bit of fun without permanently applying it to the car or anything. But the aesthetics of that hood scoop looks so nice. And on the fog lights, as you can see, I put on some Laminex film just to have it look a bit better, in my opinion, aesthetically. And when the fog lights come on, it just looks a bit better at night as well. Let me try to get a bit of the, the frame, if there's enough lighting. Yeah, the lighting's pretty bad, but not bad, not a ton of rust. Just minimal. I'd say it's better than most. And what I was most excited about when I bought this car is check it out. I don't know if you can see that. But that's the old man, old man Emu BP51 suspension. And let me tell you, if you don't know about this suspension kit, look it up on YouTube. And I'm telling you, having that suspension kit on this vehicle is out of this world. But yeah, she's a real head turner, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. Let's walk around again. I'm thinking about getting a roof rack. I don't know, a Gobi, a Prinsu. But so far, yeah, I just got this basic rack up here. I think it's stock. Got your little moon roof. Let's go ahead and open it up. I've already taken it camping a couple times, just sleeping in the back. When the seats fold back, it works for me barely, but it works. I'll do a separate video of me laying in the back completely to show you what it looks like. But oh yeah, another thing is when I bought this, these came fitted driver, passenger, and uh, rear passenger seats came fitted with wet Acole seat covers. Now these are pretty expensive. I had no idea what they were. I had to look them up when the guy told me, but they're pretty premium 
seat cover. They feel like a wetsuit, like a surf suit. If you've ever gone surfing, you wear a wetsuit and this is kind of like what the material is. And what's nice is it's resistant to stains and water. You can wipe it off pretty easily. It cleans up nice. I washed it already when I got it. Got a bunch of the dirt out. And it just gives the seat a nice nice fitted look as well as protects the original seats underneath now when I took it off to do the cleaning it looked absolutely pristine the original seats that is oh yeah I got my backup camera installed recently very nice if you have a truck you don't want to be backing into stuff you don't want to um, here's the trunk it was fitted with weather tech all around including this trunk cover here I like that and you can see the backing of the wet seat covers and in the summer the seats aren't too hot like the leather seats and in the winter it's not super cold uh, that wetsuit material really helps uh, regulate the temperature Let's go ahead and close that up yeah very handy to have of course you got your double decker shelf which i can just lift up and elevate but i kind of like the weather tech down low where it's at and let's see oh yeah you got your blind spot mirrors which is pretty awesome when you're on the road so from the driver's seat up there when you look back here you you see out the back of your car this way hitting your blind spot so that's a nice blind spot checker I don't know if these come standard or what maybe somebody can tell me in the comments but that's what it is and I think it's pretty cool I was also thinking of maybe putting a molly webbing mesh frame or something right here to hang up some tools I don't know what do you guys think Anyway, let's go ahead and shut it. Nice thing about that Toyota trunk, it automatically sucks itself in and closes all the way for you so you don't have to slam it. Anyway, I think it's a two and a half or a three inch lift, but it gives it a really aggressive look and it just, Man, that's this truck's personality, man. A little bit of aggression, a little bit of beefier tires, and the wheels just make it. I'm usually not a big fan of black wheels. I'm not. But these black TRD wheels, oh my gosh, works so well. I kind of wish it was gunmetal too. That would have looked nice. But it goes against this galactic gray paint color rather well, I'd say. So... Yeah, she's a bit dirty, but um, a bit, she's holding her shine a bit from the wash and wax I did last week, so. Sport edition. Very rare, guys. I'm lucky. Very rare to find these in good condition, running well, not needing much. I mean, these engines, the 4.7 liter V8, they normally go up to a million miles. I, I'm, all right, let me retract that. Not normally go up to a million miles, but they're known to go up to a million miles, okay? And who doesn't want that, right? So, I got a few other videos coming up, namely the replacement of the headers. I just ordered some Doug Thorley headers, and I'm going to be replacing the stock headers on the car. As we all know, the V8s tend to crack over time and you're gonna get a header leak and I'm already getting that little flutter that little Toyota rattle and I figure you know I want this car to last a while so I'm going to do I need do what I need to to keep it healthy oh yeah oh man the suspension rides like a dream so that's 
that's the big thing I'm gonna do to it. Get the headers done. Um, I think that's all that really needs to be done. Actually, the timing belt. I'll need to do the timing belt pretty soon. It's about 15,000 miles which isn't bad. I might replace the lower control arm too. It's a bit, the suspension's a bit squeaky. I don't know if I can, you guys can hear it. Hold on, let me climb up on top of here. There it is. So, it, it, it annoys the hell out of me. Um, driving around, you know? You think people are checking you out because you're riding school? But in reality, it's the suspension. So, anyway. Oh yeah, and I also cleared up the headlights a bit. When I got them, they had that nasty yellow haze on there. But I shined it up real nice. I put some, uh, I ordered some cheap LED headlights off of Amazon. And I can actually see on the road now, the stock halogen lights absolutely horrible you couldn't see anything I should have went HIDs maybe but I don't know that can change anyway let me know what you guys think about this truck if you have one yourself let me know what year what mile I'm 2007 and at 137,000 miles so she's got a long ways to go Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys really quickly my truck and uh, I think my next project will be replacing all the halogen lights inside the cabin with some LEDs just to brighten things up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.